I took this image of Spike, one of my favorite characters from Brawl Stars. I loaded it into Meta's Sam 3D, converted it into a 3D model, loaded it into my 3D printing software, and then printed it. How insane is this? This is all possible by Meta's Sam 3D, a completely open source, open weights model that can extract objects from a 2D image and convert them into a 3D model, obviously to use with 3D printing, but you can also use it in video games. You can use it in VFX, prosthetics. There are so many different applications for this and it's just plain cool. Let me show you. There are three new models available in Meta's SAM Playground. Again, this is completely free. It's also open source. It's also open weights and Meta partnered with me on this video to tell you about it. So the two new ones are here, create 3D scenes and create 3D bodies. Let's start with create 3D scenes first. So we click it, we can upload any image or use one of the samples they gave. And then you can basically just click anywhere in the image. It knows what you're clicking and it will highlight it to then extract into a 3D model. Watch this. So let's say we want this speaker. I just click it. It takes a second, highlights the whole thing. And then we click generate 3D and then it starts to generate the 3D model. Look how cool it is. Now we have this 3D model of this speaker from the 2D image. And we can do other things too. If we click here, we can get the record player. Now, as you can see, it only highlighted the bottom of the record player. So we're gonna do two things. First, go to remove, and we're gonna remove the old one. Then we're going to add, and we're going to click the glass on top to make sure we get that glass as part of the overall 3D image. Then again, we just click generate 3D image. It is dead simple. Unbelievable. Look how cool that is. All right, so now we have this 3D model. We can click download and you have two formats, PLY and GLB. What I did to load it into the 3D printer was I downloaded it in GLB format and then I converted it to STL. If you don't know what any of this is, don't worry about it. It's all from 3D printing. But Again, you could do anything with this. You can load it into Blender, for example, and you could add to it. You can sharpen it. You can change it. They have a bunch of manual controls down here. You can scale it. You can rotate it. You can move it, regenerate, and then you can click this Add Effects button. So there are a number of different effects that you can choose from. First, 3D effects. Let's say we wanted to add a shimmer, and there you can see the shimmer on the 3D object. You can make it gold. You can explode it. All of these are cool little tricks that you can do with 3D model once you've generated it. You can also change the style of the model. So here, let's change it into tune. And you can see it's kind of like cell shaded slightly. And yeah, it looks really cool. We have hand drawn, edge detection, pixelate it. And then they have a bunch of visual filters, rain, snow, fireflies. Then MetaSam 3D also has this create 3D bodies feature, which is incredibly cool. And I didn't think it was actually gonna work as well as it did, watch this. All right, so here's a picture of two guys doing jujitsu and it will actually understand where each of their body parts are in this very complex image. So watch how cool this is. So I'm gonna load it up, okay, searching for people. So there it highlighted one guy and you can see it's highlighted in blue and you can actually see his foot all the way over there and then the other guy is in pink and then we generate all people. And watch this, look at that. We can actually see both people rendered in 3D space, their spine, their arms, their fingers, everything was rendered and approximated correctly. And then of course you can download this as well and do with it what you want. VFX of course comes to mind. This can even be used for animation. So rather than having to add a skeleton to an animation manually, you can simply do it like this now. It is incredible. Over here, you can see the two people were identified and you can click them and each of them is highlighted. And then if you wanna remove one of them, that's also easy. So let's say we wanna remove this guy, remove body, delete. There it is. I mean, it's just one guy from the image and his entire skeleton is perfectly approximated. It's so cool. All right, let me show you a few other examples because I'm really blown away by this and I'm going to be playing with it for a while. I just got a 3D printer, so it's been a lot of fun just printing random stuff, but now I can actually extract things from a photo, load it into my 3D printing software and print it on the 3D printer. And by the way, I just got into this stuff. It's not like I'm an expert at 3D printing, but I figured out how to print this guy quickly. It took about 20 minutes to actually figure it out. Here's a picture of the White House. Let's load that up. Just click anywhere on the White House and it should highlight it perfectly. Yep, there it is. Okay, generate 3D and there's a 3D replica of the White House. 
So, so cool. So here's another video game I play, and this is Timo from League of Legends. So we're gonna load him up and see if we can get a 3D image out of him. Okay, so there we loaded it up. I'm just gonna click anywhere on the character and look at that, highlighted it almost perfectly. It left his little blow dart off. So we're just gonna click that and it should add it in. There we go, generate 3D. And there it is. Now we have a 3D version of Timo. Now, if you flip it around, the back is a little wonky, but it had to approximate what it's gonna look like on the back. But Otherwise, I think this looks fantastic and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, you can do this with absolutely any image. There are so many different use cases, so many different applications that you can use this for. And it is again, free, open source and open weights. I am so excited to be partnering with Meta on this because it is just such a cool product and anybody can use it. It is dead simple. So that's it. Check it out. I'm going to drop all the links in the description below. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.